I think the reason why God so highlighted David in the midst of all of his imperfections is because he was a man who relentlessly pursued the heart of God. He was after God's own heart. You, do you see that dimension? Paul talked about it a little bit. He said, he said, I have not already attained, neither am I already perfect, but here's what I do. I follow after. If I may obtain that for which I've laid hold of. He said, he said, I press forward to the mark for the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. And if anybody else be perfect, let them have the same mind. So what Paul is saying is perfection is pursuing. Not arriving, pursuing. Maturity is pursuing. Biggest problem God has with people sometimes is they give up. They slide back. They that they forfeit their pursuit. Didn't he say to the church in Revelation 2, uh, you're doing all this good stuff, got something against you, you left your first love, you're no longer pursuing me. And I think God, when he looked down at a man that was pursuing him and his heart and pursuing his desire, and he said, all I want to do is behold the beauty of the Lord. That's the one thing I want. I, I want the Lord. I want to pursue him. I want to uh, inquire in his temple. I want to be in his presence, and I'm going to keep pursuing that. And I'm going to get in trouble when I number Israel, but I'm going to get up and keep pursuing. And I sure got in trouble when I looked at Bathsheba, but I'm going to get up and keep pursuing. And all the things that are happening around me, I just want to get back to the place where I'm able to pursue because my whole life is defined by a relentless pursuit of the one who gave me life and gave me breath. And God looks at that and says, that's a man after my own heart. That's one that gets my honor. That's one that I love. That's one that I will cause all ages to know from eons of time to know about this guy named David. And that's the one that's able to kill Goliath, but not because he's so special. It's because he won't stop pursuing.